Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk soon. Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I'm back. Um, I am going to use a couple more of these yin yang um, beads because I like these. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to make some, neck, uh, not necklaces right now, but bracelets. I'm um, just kind of in the mood for making bracelets. And I will get back to the, um, what is it I was doing? I will get back to the uh, the link necklaces. But right now I'm just in the mood for making some. Some bracelets because I want to put the bracelets on the on the website. Just want to kind of populate that category of product, and then I'll get back to I'll get back to the uh, to the link to the link um, necklaces. Well, let me see what I want to put right here. Let's try some of these pink stones. Um, only because there's pink in this little bead right here that I'm going to use. You probably can't see it because it's so small, but it's a little pink on here. So I'm going to use a couple of these pink beads. Try to get them about the same size. Right, let's do, try this one. And I like pink. Pink is a pretty color. Pink, yellow, you know, like bright colors. I'm not sure if I like that bright of a pink. Let me see. Maybe a darker fuchsia type color. I like that one a little bit better. Let's see if we can find another one. I'm not as big, but. Different shape, but still the same color. So I have to go with that. And then let's put another bead on here. See how the colors match. And to me, that matches well. It's a little different, but it still matches. So let's see. And then let's break it up with, I'm going to use another one of these little spacers. I've all got a whole lot of them. I got two big bags of them. These little things here. So I bought two of them. And I kind of stayed away from them because a lot of people use these. But they're they're pretty and they're good for fillers, you know, like spacers. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put two. Let's see what it's gonna look like. another one of these beads on and then I am going to close it off with some of these wood beads uh, that's the whole purpose of making the bracelets to try to get rid of some of these uh, wood beads so that's pretty I love the way that looks right there you know what I might just I don't want to use all these beads so let me see um, I think I'm going to put one more because I really like the way they look spacers would match with these beads. Oh, you know what? Then I'm going to use one of, not one of these. Let's do this. <clears throat> because we got a lot of these beads. So let's go ahead and use one of these too. Oops. And then we'll put one on each side. And I might end up not using wood beads. Look at that. That's pretty. I don't think I'm going to use it with these. Um, let's do this because we do have some brown and some green ones. Let's go ahead and just be as long as we get, okay? Um, what I am going to do. Oh, let me see something. I do have some. I've got some other spacers. Try it. And I'm going to use these because of the silver. 
And you guys know I don't really use silver. But I am going to... I'm going to use a couple of these. So I'll put one on each side. I like the way that looks. It's very pretty. And then what we're going to do going to put a brown bead on here. We're just shooting from the hip because we want to see, you know, just where it's going to come out looking. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and, and make it without the wood beads. And that was the thing. You know what? I am going to put some wood beads on here only because these beads are brown. So I'm going to close it off with some brown beads. So let's do this. These brown wood beads. And that was the whole point of making braces, trying to use all these little beads up that I got right here so I can um, stock up on some more supplies. Oh, yeah, this is going to look pretty. Let's see. Another brown bead. Oh yeah, that matches really good. I'm gonna put a couple more on here, the brown beads. And a lot of these don't have holes, so I do see why I still got them because a lot of them don't have the holes. I had mentioned that in the other video that it was one of the vendors that I bought these nine millimeter beads from and every bead had the holes all the way through on both sides. Um, but I couldn't remember which vendor it was. So I ended up buying some, this was really pretty. I ended up buying some beads from a different vendor than the vendor that I initially bought the nine millimeters from. And then when I got the beads, the holes weren't full holes and I'm having to put the holes in it and all this so crazy kind of stuff. And I said, see, that's why when you find a good vendor, you just got to keep that. You got to keep the information in your pocket. This is really pretty. So what I'm doing is I like to wrap it around twice. One, two, and pull it nice and slug. You got to nice and snug. You got to be careful because sometimes this one millimeter cord will break. So that's one, two, and snug and then one more time some people use glue i never use glue on mine i've never had to um i just don't have a problem with the braces coming apart thank god and for this i'm going to put the tied knot pull it through the biggest hole and that's on this side and then hide that out oh this is really pretty look at that Matches really well with those beads. Look at that. Really pretty. Just pretty. That's really, really pretty. I really like this. I'm going to make another one like this. Because I got enough supplies. Shoot, I got enough. I think I can make maybe four. Oh, I think I will do that. I think I got enough to make four. Because I have four of these. Uh, Yin and Yang. And sometimes all you need is to make a to make a bracelet. You just need um to sit down and just make something. You know what I mean? I just wanted to make something simple and easy. I didn't want to have to do a whole lot. Um, I might have to use, I'm going to have to probably use some different paint on these because I don't have any more of this color left. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to have to do what we got to do with it. Hopefully, they'll come out looking just as pretty. 
I'll just use the pink that we have. Let's go from there. these bees and I have to, I might not be able to make only like two of these maybe because I might have enough bees for to make four. I was watching a video the other day and a lady was making I think she was making a necklace. It was a very complicated piece. And as I was watching the video, I was like, ain't no way I'm going to be sitting nowhere um, being all involved like that. That's just, that's just not my thing. I'm like, <laughs> if it's too involved, I'm just not doing it. Okay. But it was one of the most beautiful pieces you ever wanted to see i mean it was so detailed it was a lot of wire it was a lot going on with it and when she finished on one side she put one bead less than what she was supposed to so it didn't match um that's like to say if on this side i don't put the pink bead on this side but it's on this side and i went ahead and finished it all the way off and i was like oh my god i felt her pain because she was saying, I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this or if I'm going to take it apart. And she was saying, I'm a perfectionist, you know, in a sense, because, you know, even though the person that buys it, they may not be able to tell the difference, but she can. And I felt the same way. And I'm like, man, now she's going to take all that apart. Uh, let's see. I put that one. Oh, no. Look. So, see, I already messed up right there. I'm going to take this off. And then I need to put another, another one of, another one of these. But anyway, she was saying that um, she was gonna go ahead and just take it apart. It pained her to have to do that, but she said, "I'm gonna just go ahead and take it apart because I, I can't. It would bother me, just knowing." And I was thinking that to myself. I'm like, "Yep, it would bother me too." So I would literally take it apart and you know make it right. So she was saying that's what she was gonna do to it. And I was like, man, she put all that wire, she did all that twisting, she did all this, she did all that. And it was like an amazing piece, too. I was just like, wow. And that happens sometimes, especially when we get comfortable. We so comfortable, we just beating and just doing what we're doing. And then we look up, we done missed a whole section of beads. So then we got this. And I'm looking at this one that I put on my wrist just to make sure it all matches. So then I did this bead, then I did two, then I did this bead, then I did this one, then I did this. And then now I'm gonna put a brown. So then we're gonna put a brown bead and another brown bead. And then we closed it off with two, four, six brown wood beads. And hopefully we can find six that got holes. Yep, see that one don't. They need to double check all these before they package them up. I wonder how they put all the holes. Like, you know, how they make the little beads. I'm going to have to find a video and see how they literally make these beads. How they make them rounded like this, put the hole, and then paint them. three on this side and then I'm going to put three on this side I feel like I'm hiding it like you guys can't see what I'm doing and I'll just be sitting here beating not you know just not paying attention to the video beat it and it looks like the same bracelet 
the only difference is the color so I'm gonna go ahead and tie it on um, this one I'm making just a little bit fuller so like a nine inch wreath wrist seven seven and a half eight eight and a half nine inch so I'm gonna do it twice one two you guys ever have um Full size ladies say, "Why are you leaving us out?" <laughs> if you like, ma'am, I'm not trying to leave y'all out. Okay, I'll be trying to make them, you know, fuller, but making them just, you know, big enough, some eight and a half, some nine. And I've had women with like really huge, you know, like, and they weren't even big people; just had really big wrists. I'm sure everybody um, have gotten a customer or two like that. So now I'll find the biggest hole and pull that through. And then we got our second one. These are pretty. That's really pretty, especially these beads, right? I mean, they just marry well together. That's really, really pretty. I think. Do I got enough to make another one, two? So I need four black ones. Um, here's one, let's see. Two, oh, here we go, three. Yeah, four, so I can make one more of these. Um, I might even be able to make, I need some other black. Could only make one more of these and that's fine because that'll give me three so i'm gonna go ahead and make one more um what are the else ones i don't think i have four of these so i'm gonna go ahead and start beating and I am going to have to use a different color, uh, different color pink. Still blends well, right? Still blends well. These are a little brighter, though. So, let's see if we can find a darker one. Amazon out there making deliveries. I'm going to have to check my door. Oh, look, I got to put this on there. I remember uh, my mother, she used to drive a, a van. She had a really nice van. I forget what type of van it was, but as she got older, she used to drive a van. Really nice van, right? My mother wouldn't even... Um, she wouldn't even look when she backed up. She would just back up. And she would back up until her car would be making that noise. Beep, beep, beep. You know how they make the noise when you're backing up. And it's like the car is making the noise, but she would still just back up until she hit something. It's like, mama, you cannot be doing that. That's why the little uh, alarm comes on to tell you that you're getting close. And she said, yeah, but when it does that, I still be having a lot of room left when it be making that noise like that. So she said, I know I done ran, <laughs> ran out of room <laughs> when I hit something. I'd be like, mama, I was like, mama, you can't, you can't be doing that. She said, well, I got good insurance. I'm like, yeah, but you ain't trying to do all that. She used to back up until she hit something. Man, I miss that woman. It's like, wow. Back up until you just hit it. It's like, Miss Johnson, you can't be doing that. And she didn't stop doing it either. It's like, ma'am, you don't stop it. I'm going to use these. I think these are pretty much the same color as these right here. They are. So it's not bad. And then I use the black. They almost look like a green. 
true. I don't know. My eyes is playing tricks on me or what, but they look black and then they look green. It's almost like the color of my car. My car is uh, what they call a Kodiak brown. Um, Kodiak brown, but sometimes it looks like a real pretty dark brown. Then sometimes it looks like it's just a real pretty pearl black. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. And, you know, like if you got to park somewhere or whatever and you got to put the make and model of the car and the color, depending on what color the car looks like when I get out of the car, that's what color I put. If it looks black or if it looks brown. Because sometimes... We're gonna do these beads are beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And then I put two. Get back up until she hits something. It's like, Mama, if you don't stop doing that. I was uh looking at I was watching some some type of video. I forget what it was while I was sitting here working the other night. And the guy was talking about uh, women, relationships and women and how a lot of women, you know, nowadays are like a cook and you know, like all this type of stuff. And I was just thinking, I'm like, man, the time is really different from when I was growing up because I it took me back to my mother and how this is really pretty, how she's always cooked. It, it was every once in a while we would eat out and when we would eat out, it would either be. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They would get the bucket when the chicken was in the bucket. They would get the bucket. It would have the, at the time, I think they only had like maybe the, their original recipe. Um, it would be the muffins, not muffins, but the, the biscuits, mashed potatoes. I think they used to have macaroni and cheese too. I don't, I don't remember, but um, she cooked. And I was thinking, my mother used to always cook. She would get up and she would make breakfast. We had breakfast every morning. And when I say breakfast, I mean full breakfast, like pancakes, grits. Uh, some mornings, it would be the pancakes with um, cream of wheat. She was good for making cream of wheat. She hated oatmeal. You couldn't bring no oatmeal in my mother's house. She didn't like oatmeal. She didn't like, at the time, Hamburger Helper was big. She hated Hamburger Helper. Um, but I got a, I had an auntie, she's passed away now. She used to always make hamburger helper and she would always make the cheeseburger kind of hamburger helper. So we would always have an excuse to go over to my auntie's house because she made oatmeal, which we loved, right? And she made the hamburger helper, um, cheeseburger kind, which we love, but my mother never would cook because she, she, she was just like, nah, I'm not cooking that stuff in my house. Something else my auntie would cook was, um, was it the salmon, salmon patties or something that came out of the can? So my auntie would make those as well. And we would always find a reason to go to my auntie's house so we could eat those too. So my mother was big on uh, like full meals. She would always say hamburger helper and that kind of stuff wasn't a meal. So her thing was a protein, uh, br uh, a protein. She would always put two veggies with everything. Um, maybe some mashed potatoes, rice with gravy, that type of stuff. But she believed in cooking. I mean, like she cooked, she, she didn't play. And when he was talking about that, how women don't like to cook like nowadays, and then the air he came from, you know, his parents and his mom and grandmother and them used to cook and stuff. And I was just like, man, that is like so true. Everything is fast food now. But I bet you people was learn how to, learning how to cook during that pandemic. You go look at all them videos now on YouTube. They got millions and millions of views on it. And anytime you walk in the store, um, I think I got this right. And anytime you walked in the store during the pandemic, all the shelves was empty. All the seasoning was gone. I'm like, Lord, who is cooking? There was never a day I would walk into the store and, and the shelves was empty of seasonings. Like, what in the world? But everybody start cooking then. But if you go in a store now, it's back to what it was before. You know, you can always get your seasonings. I know I can. I can always get my little seasonings, so I'm a little cornmeal, I'm a little flour. Everything is always there now. I guess people don't just, um, you know, went back to, to habits. All right, so I was able to get at least three. Um, where'd that eat go? I was uh, able to get three of these. Bracelets. These are really pretty. 
It's the B that makes it. That is an absolute. If you ain't got no pretty beads, um, chances are you ain't gonna get no pretty pieces, okay? Sometimes a plain piece is just a plain piece that looks really nice when it's just a plain color. But for the most part, and if you think about it, plain pieces, everybody and anybody can make a plain piece. So you got to have something different. That's probably why when you ask somebody, um, you know, where they bought their beads at or if somebody got a website or something like such, they'll tell you uh, they don't know it, they don't remember. You know, and I get it because you don't want everybody, you know, stuff looking like yours. I get it. I definitely get it. All right, so I generally would do two. Oops, 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 oops. And then I'm going to do one. And then I'm going to do two. Mm, two. And this is the one millimeter cord. It holds really good for the smaller beads, but when I use the bigger beads, let's say if I was using these beads and I was using a lot of these beads or even um, the bigger beads like this, or even if I was stringing something like this, I would use that 1.5 millimeter cord. Only because it's nice and thick and it's sturdy. All right, so one, two. And then you gotta be careful pulling this because it'll break on you. Let's do that more. One, two. Pull it nice and snug. Ahead and clip it, take them at the knees, and then I'll clear, pull it through the biggest hole, which is right here, and then that high tip. And then we've got three of these. Look at that, that's beautiful. I put these on the website tonight, these are gorgeous. Um, the video does it no justice at all, period. The way these beads lay together, how they just marry well. It looks really expensive, very elegant. It looks very rich. This is pretty. These are really pretty. So we got three out of there. Um, I can probably, and I think I am going to do that because I, I have these left. I got brown and then I got green left. So what I can do is make some different ones. It won't be the yin yang piece in the middle. I got something else I could use around here for the focal point. And then um, I could use some different color natural stones and then use these other these other beads right here because I got two, four, that's one, two, four, that's two, two, four. I can probably use get Four, maybe four, if I do them in different colors, which I'm getting ready to do, I'll do them in different colors. But this is what I came out with. These are really pretty, right? And it looks good, too, with the finishing with the wood beads. So these are real nice. I really like the way these look. Very pretty. I'll take a picture. Very pretty. All right, Darling Night for J by BDK. I will be back because I'm going to sit here and make some more bracelets. Um, I'm trying to populate the, the new website with a lot of bracelets and um, do some other stuff. And uh, guess what, family? We'll talk.